Hi guys, Larry from the Oregon coast, August 18th, and it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. Out here, pumpkin is looking awesome. And there's the main vine there. I'm going to swing you over, and that's the main, the secondary vine. And I was pruning off the side shoots, but now I'm starting to let them grow out now. I'm um, just pinching off the female flowers. I ended up losing the first two pumpkins that I tried to pollinate myself. And uh, basically what I learned is the male flower needs to be completely bloomed out to, to get good pollination. Check that bad boy out. It's about the size of the basketball, so I'm going to take a quick measurement here. The size is right about 12 inches by 11 inches, so I have no idea on the weight. But every time I come home from work, it looks like it's grown quite a bit, so pretty excited. Can't wait to see what happens this here. This is the secondary uh, vine, so basically i got a couple coming up here, so I'll probably just end up keeping the, the largest one off this vine. And I'll probably do the same thing with this one. That's the main vine. Um, Kind of curious to see which one that one just um, got pollinated and it's really starting to take off so i'm wondering if that's if that one will actually outgrow the big one and this is the one i got grown in soil and it's actually passing up the hydroponic one for length anyways this pumpkin here is about two and a half weeks old but it's really taken off I'm starting to catch up with the hydroponic the soil pumpkin started a lot of started pretty slow compared to the hydroponic one, but it's really, uh, really caught up and kind of passed it. And I haven't done any pruning on the ground one. I just kind of let, let it grow wild. I'm trying to keep the um, hydro pumpkin, just the two main vines there. Well, I did end up adding another air stone and it sure helped out a lot. And uh, still running the PPMs right at 1800 and uh, I don't see any reason to bump it up, but uh, seems to be working just fine. Now for a little extra fertilizer, I've been dumping the leftover water from the reservoir on my water changes out here on the ground and also been adding about five gallons of a uh, compost tea probably once or twice a week and I just dump it there on the ground and I don't even use a sock I just dump some compost in a bucket mix it around and I just dump the whole thing so that's the dark brown uh, material you're seeing the there. soil is a hard clay and uh, I'm really surprised that we can even get grass to grow on here so there's almost no uh, nutrition value in this stuff. Oh, look at that got a little bee doing some pollinating Busy, busy. A lot more to go there, bud. Really happy with the results so far, and uh, real excited. Can't wait to see uh, what's going to happen in the next couple months. So, all right, guys, take care and have a good one.